Hello, Giselle Turi here. I'm back at Veterans Lake in Ark City, Kansas. Uh, Ark City for short. I like to call it Arkansas City. And apparently, there's a lot of people that call it Arkansas City. So, I don't know. Potato, potato, you know. But, anyway, I don't know if you can hear all the wind around me and occasionally you might hear um, a particular bird. Oh, wow. This place is so peaceful to me. And it just really blisses me out. It's a beautiful day. It's blue skies. I'm amongst a bunch of trees sitting on a bench right now. Let me go ahead and scan the area a little so you can see it. I love filming when I'm, I'm out in nature because I like to remind people that this is the real world. And, you know, when you're living in the city or you're in a busy place with a bunch of people, it can get pretty chaotic and you can't really think clearly. But out here, to me, I mean, my gosh, you can take a deep breath, fill your lungs with that healthy air. Be in nature, listen to the birds. It's a great place to relax. It's um, it's a great connection as far as you and your higher self or spirit or whatever you want to call it. I always encourage people to spend more time out in nature. Uh, some people are talking about living off the grid, and not everyone can like do that for any length of time, but there are different ways of living off the grid or going off the grid, and just spending time in nature is one of them, you know, camping, anything to do with nature, um, to really center yourself and feel that peace and that connection to all that is. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Probably with other connections too because not something made me sneeze but anyway. Oh, I'm enjoying being able to take a deep breath. I'm actually sleepy too. Oh, oh but it is it's, it's one of those things you have to experience you can't really express the feeling of it but um, I think everybody should do their best to spend time in nature you know every day if possible and if you live in a more natural environment so much the better with everything that's going on in the world and I don't know where people are at with their thoughts or beliefs or what they listen to or pay attention to but You've probably heard this time and time again that the world that we live in is considered a matrix and it's best to get out of the matrix. So get yourself unstuck from the societal expectations and being sucked into certain programming and stuff that is really designed to numb you out so you can't think for yourself. And we are all equipped with this powerful innate ability to do so much more than we've been led to believe and the way things are designed even our public school system is designed to dumb you down and it's sad and it's not um, uh, what do they call it um, conspiracy theorists yes or whatever it's um, it's truth. If you pay attention, you look at the... I mean, there was even something I personally don't watch the news 
on purpose, but as a caregiver, I have a client that likes to watch the news, so I'm watching it, and they were talking about how the educational system, these kids, are their math skills and a lot of their skills have really gone down. And I mean, I know there's different contributing factors to that, or can be, but I think for a long time, other countries um, have been more superior than this country, United States, when it comes to the public school systems. And that's probably another reason why a lot of kids are being homeschooled, or you have like um, the Montessori schools, you have all these specialty schools, if you will, that are more designed to address each, each child personally and not just put them in a box and cram a bunch of stuff down them or curriculums without considering there again, each one of them is you know, different individuals that learn differently. Um, but just you look at a lot of the programming and it's not designed to lift you up. A lot of the programming too is, I mean, I wouldn't watch it. It's so hardcore and so harsh that it can easily desynthesize people. In other words, it's, it's normal to see killings and robbery and rape and all this hideous stuff instead of love and compassion and understanding and it's like these programs are actually programming your mind you know if you choose to participate and really watch it and get really indulged in these what you're watching your subconscious is taking that in at some level and it, it sticks with you somehow I mean it can show up in your dreams it can show up in your thinking patterns I mean and then, God forbid, people that are already mentally unstable get hold of that stuff, and it's almost like giving them permission to, to do crazy things. I'm looking at this weird bug that just flew on my phone. Yes, I am in nature. Bye, little bug. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm in their element. I haven't seen any snakes yet. I've been looking. I like snakes. I mean, a lot of people. I just, there again, I highly recommend everybody take time to be out in nature. If you cannot live in nature, get off the grid that way. Just spend as much time in it as possible. Be still. Really listen. And I, not, not just with your outer ear, but with your inner ear. You know, your intuition, your feelings. We are so much more capable than we've been led to believe. Either by well-meaning authority figures are, you know, social media, uh, political figures, whatever. Um, and it's like, no, take back control of your own mind and be selective in what you're choosing to allow into your mind. Yeah. So I just wanted to express that with you and while I'm out here, ah, taking some deep breaths and blissing out beautiful environment. In the words of Ralph Smart, breathing in that good ass prana baby, raising the frequency, raising the vibration. <laughs> some of you may know who he is, some of you may not, but that's his main thing and it makes sense. Okay, until next time, Ultrea, move forward with courage and in love. Bye-bye.